Hi ladies, we are working on advancing hamstring strength today and starting from a bridge position. So this is a great exercise when you're working with things like prolapse because it is that inversion, but it's also just a great exercise for everyone in general because we bring a component of motion in and uh, we're taking a, a level of creating an unstable environment so that your body has to react to that and use the right muscles at the right time. So it's great for general balance, great for general core strength, but I particularly use it in building hip strength when dealing with things like prolapse and stress incontinence. So what I want you to do, if you don't have a fancy set of sliding discs, is grab a couple washcloths and go to flooring that is um, hard, like hardwood floors, luxury vinyl plank, some sort of tile, um, anything like that. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take these washcloths, you're gonna lay them down, and you're gonna put your feet on them. I know you love where this is going. All right, so we're gonna remember our basic principles so for bridge pose, we want to press lightly into our arms in order to lift our hips up, right? That's going to increase overall core activation and that little bit of axial lengthening we want. So I'm going to press lightly into my arms and lift my hips, pressing into my feet. And I double check that my hips are relatively level looking. And now we're going to do sets of four. I'm going to lengthen one leg draw it back in. Lengthen the other. Draw it back in. The washcloth allows me to slide. Back in, lower down. You'll notice I didn't mention doing that pelvic floor deep activation by uh, bringing tailbone and pubic bone together or thinking about drinking a milkshake with your vagina. Part of that is because a lot of pelvic floor activation naturally happens with this since your pelvic floor activates every time your booty does and every time there's any level of you needing core strength, such as when you're creating a little bit of an unstable environment. So you can add that extra pelvic floor engagement if you want, but you don't necessarily have to. You're still getting a pelvic floor workout, which is pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna go up for a second set. We're gonna do five sets of four. Um, so the way to progress yourself is start to link those sets together. So you end up, say, with a few sets of eight repetitions and then eventually adding all your sets together so you, that you're doing it back and forth, back and forth for something like 20 total repetitions, okay? So press into those arms gently, exhale and press into the feet so you can rise up to your bridge and then out for four, three, Two, jaw is soft, last one. Come back to that bridge, lower you breathe, your booty down. Maybe do a gentle windshield wiper in between. You know me, I always love a little bit of mobility where I can find it. Making your body feel good for the long term. Third round, okay? Exhale, press into arms, press into feet. Out for four, three, to try to keep those hips relatively level, last one, and lower down. You guys are doing awesome. This is a hard exercise. Here we go for the fourth set, okay? Exhale, press into all your limbs, hips come up, neck is long, out for four, three, two, and one. Bring that back in, Ooh, lower down. We're getting there, we've got one more set. You guys are killing it. We're gonna feel it in our hammies, but we're gonna be proud. All right, exhale, jaw stays soft, press into all the limbs, out for four, three, are my hips level? I hope so, two, they are, I hope yours are too. Last one, lower it down, woo! All right, let's draw knees in towards your belly and just hug them in and rock lightly back and forth for bundle pose. Good, and send your left leg out long. Reach your right leg gently up to the sky. Not so much that you get a Charlie horse, but that you get a little bit of lengthening through that spot that's really making you burn, which is probably the middle of your leg or closer to your knee. And then let's switch. Left leg is up, right leg is long. See, my knee has a soft bend to it. Yeah, I'm not pushing into a death grip of a stretch. Do something that feels like it's a little supportive for your body. 
And then look at that, we're all done. All right, take that, create your version of it that is the right level of difficulty for your body and where you're at. And I'd love to hear about how you're doing. All right, take care.